Hi right, guys, Seb here from Kalis. Welcome back. Today we are going to review this, the 2022 Hyundai Saria, but this is not the seven-seater version which will cost you around 360,000 ringgit. This is actually the 10-seater version. Specifically, this is the max variant, which will only cost you around 210,000 ringgit. So if you want a Staria that looks like the seven-seater, but you don't want to pay as much, then you want to want to get this because it can fit up to 10 people. And even the engine is the same. You will get the same 2.2 turbo diesel, which produces around 176 horsepower with 431 newton meters of torque. So Jum, let's go hey, do set, the set, review. Set, set. Let's not do a normal review. This is a space bus. Yes. So I it's understand. got one purpose only. And that purpose is to carry people and go lepa. So road trip? Yes. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we can go. Let's go. Yeah. There's like a gazillion seats at the back there. Yeah, but this what is a 10 seater. Here? The front row are the orang blue dodo. Yes, so look at this. Yeah, but it's more fun like this. That this is no fun, are you? Ah, that's better. So now you're ready? Yes. Okay, you do. Okay, so guys, welcome to the Hyundai Staria, okay? So apart from its extraordinary exterior spaceship look, uh -huh. <laughs> one of the reasons the Staria is liked in this market is because of, as you can see, the amount of seats it has. Yeah. So for once, I can bring you all along for a little joint up gender mate. You kidnapped us. Yes. You like it though, because now we can all have some fun. I'm uh -huh. hungry. All right, all right, all right. Shh, pipe down, pipe down, kids. All right. Don't make me turn this car around. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, but I want to ask you guys, how is the experience at the back? I mean, yeah, I mean, at the front, we're all cozy. It's just nice. How about you guys? This is a 10-seater, right? Yes, this they is make... a 10-seater. So, yeah, one of the MPVs that got most seats in the market right now. I have to, I have to practice my core strength to make sure I stay in the seat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do tell me about it. I'm sitting in the middle. Uh -huh. So I have no handles, nothing and it yeah. Your core strength, I think my core will be like got six apps by the end of this right now. But it, it's comfy enough lah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. The it's, seats are all right. It's lah. quite spacious inside. Yeah, huh? it's true. To the point where you feel like you're in a cave. Or a spaceship. Fact, or a spaceship in a fact. Cave? Yeah, yeah, because I think one of the things that I'm picking up is there's quite a lot of wind noise. Ah, right. Yes. Huh? Yeah. I can hear tires, I can hear wind. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think that's due to the vast amount of glass around. But, but, I, but I do like the fact that it's so big though. Usually when you're in such a car like this, you feel very like, you know, what claustrophobic. Like, Cramp. Claustrophobic is yes. right. Mm. But now it's like, hey, and perfect for a road trip, you can see the scenic views and all that. But so got plus and minuses lah for the Correct. Big windows. Correct. So in life, we can always not have everything, right? But uh, yes. still, there's, there's pros and cons. But I think if you were to have this and you're a family and you have kids, they would not be complaining at all. Oh, yeah. They would actually be having a lot of fun back there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah, it's a perfect price as well because you, you, you know that the Staria looks great, but the seven-seater costs way too much. Yes. Mm. So if you want something that is a lot cheaper but looks the same with the same engine, then you can get the ten-seater version, which is priced from what one hundred eighty k to uh, this one two hundred and ten k. Yes, it's a lot cheaper. Yes. How much is the seven seat? Uh, three hundred and sixty thousand ringgit, if I'm not mistaken. That is a lot of money for a Hyundai. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is more like it, I think. But I think one of the things that this car also excels at is its power plant, right, Sam? Yes. Yes. So, like, this diesel engine is known to be, like, the workhorse engine as Seb is proving now. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I've been driving this car for quite a, quite a while already, and I feel like it's very light on its feet, despite the size, because I wouldn't know that it's a big MPV without looking at the rear view mirror, because if I'm driving just looking at the front, it feels like a very light car to drive if that makes sense yep. Yep, yep. 
because you have access to power, right? I mean, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven people in this van, but yeah. you don't feel like you're being bogged down because you have a lot of talk. Yeah, I and I'm not even in sports mode or whatever. I'm actually in the smart mode, and it feels like nothing. Actually, it feels like it's not struggling. It's not like there's there's like a lot of people in the car. It feels just the same. Yeah. Mm. By the way, we are a car right now, so we are going this upwards like that. So Sam is just having a good time, as you can see. It's just it's yeah. a lot of pulling power, so there's not really much problem when it comes to power in this car. MPV. MPV MPV <laughs> Alright, so there you go Jim and Nadia gave their impressions of the second row Actually, they're in not the best seats in this van Apart from the ones in front The third row seats are one of the best seats in this MPV So let me ask Hannah who's there with Ahmad How it is yeah. Hannah, how are your seats in the third row? I'm good, it's good I mean, I purposely picked these seats because it's captain seat I see, so captain seats. But I feel like you don't have as much leg room as uh, Jim and uh, Nadia there. Is that true or you got... Yeah, but otherwise it's fine. The, like, the seat is not too low in front so I can put my feet forward. Uh, I'm not hit, my knees are not hitting the seat in front. For 1745, can't sit. Actually, I know what the problem is. Nadia and Jim are selfish. Jim and Nadia, pull your seats forward. No. Yes. Then, Hana and Ahmad would have more leg room. So, okay, I'm just joking. They're not selfish. What I'm just trying to say is, yes, there's a lot of adjustability in the seats. So, if they would just kindly just move their seats forward, which they don't want to, Hana would have a lot more space. Okay. okay. Actually, the seats doesn't end at Hana's third row area there. There's another row of seats. Which, <laughs> which we looked at earlier and I don't think it fits any adults it's very upright especially actually we found a problem when we wanted to close the tailgate the seats cannot be like in a relaxed position it has to be upright so yeah I think to me they'll be just like emergency seats just in case you really need to pack the car with your troops I don't know if you want to go for war or something yeah, so you can actually fit 10 people but not exactly Barely. 10 adults yeah. And when you have 10 people in the car, there's not a lot of room for luggage Actually very little room for luggage yes. So right now in our current situation where 7 people are going on a road trip A short road trip, there's enough space probably to carry all of our luggages But I'm this type of person, I'd rather have more than less So I prefer yeah. to have it just in case if I ever, de ever need to like just bring loads of people uh, with me on a trip like this. I mean, it's only a short while, they can live with it. Yeah. So, 10 people in a pinch, 7 people with luggage, right? Yes, 7 people I deal, comfortably. I deal. Yes, yeah. comfortably. Yeah. Alright, so huh, that was a fun trip. Huh? We managed to get everybody to come and eat with us at Lemang Toki. Yeah, so yeah. it's just a nice trip out of the city for a nice Lemang at Lemang Toki. Yeah. So as you can see, the car was very comfortable. Comfortable enough for you, for you guys, for the rest of them to just fall asleep right after a nice lunch. Yeah. So as you can see, it drives nice. I like it and I'm pretty sure the uh, passengers like it too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you know, with every car, it's not always going to be like 100% perfect. I mean, yeah, one of the things that I picked up was that it's really noisy inside when you're traveling mm -hmm. at speed or because it feels like a cave inside, you know, there's a lot of space. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that, of glass yeah. everywhere. And but then, it's, it's, it's uh, to me, it's tolerable. Uh. tolerable it's, not, yeah. it's not extreme. It's okay. Okay. Like, uh, that bugged me. And also, another thing that bugged me is this. Sidestep? The sidestep. I don't really see the point of it. And then, couple of times I opened the door and then I forgot it was there and the sidestep just swiped my foot so but yeah. cool can they close mm -hmm. yeah and definitely, cool definitely a party piece lah, but yeah, yeah. apart from that I can't really see the point of it I mean tada <laughs> yeah. I mean yeah 
Yeah, also, uh, I don't know feel very uh, sturdy. It, it works now, but I don't know if it will last. Yeah. That's the thing. But hopefully it will lah. Yeah. But I, I like like I mean like sitting at the passenger seat. I mean I put my hand there, that side thing there. It's quite padded. It's mm-hmm. quite nice, and I can see a lot in this car. I mean you don't really you can't have that in like in other MPVs. But in this one, because there's a lot of glass, mm-hmm. when you're traveling, you just wow, you see a lot of things. Yeah. I also like the engine. The engine is nice, smooth, and really quiet for a diesel engine. You don't you don't feel yeah. like it's very diesel. But so yeah, I uh, think for like 210k, I think the Hyundai Staria. I think ticks the right boxes. Not all of them, yeah. but it definitely ticks the right boxes. Yeah. So if you ever need a car that's got a lot of well, MPV, that lot of seats, this is it. I mean, yes, seven is like the optimum comfort for yes. seven passengers, but those extra seats might come in handy. You never know, and at least you have that option in this car. Yeah. So you don't actually have to buy the seven seater, which will cost you a bomb. You can actually buy the ten seater. And then just use the final row to store your luggage and whatnot. Yeah, it still fits seven people very comfortably, and it will only cost you a tiny, you know, two hundred and ten k. I wouldn't say it's yeah. tiny, but it's a lot cheaper than a seven seater. Yeah. Plus, this is one of the only diesel-powered MPVs. I mean, the rest are all petrol, so you get the benefits of diesel, which means fuel savings. Um, yeah, so I mean, only the Kia, its brother, technically is, is the only thing that is got going against it. But yeah, yeah, we like this. I mean, maybe you should consider it too. Yeah. So what do you guys think? If you have any comments, share them in the section below, and we'll see you again in the next video. Ciao. So another group of people, cari makan lagi. Road trip again. Yeah. Ciao.